Hey what's going on everybody, I'm back with another video, this time with a quick and easy photoshop tutorial on how to get this cool linkedin profile picture frame. And if you want to rotate it, change the color, the font, we can do that too. Or if you want to use it as your profile picture on social media, it will perfectly fit just as well. If you're looking for a job, flick it up on linkedin, but if you have the option checked on that you're searching for a job, linkedin will by default add the default open a work frame over your profile picture. Everyone gets this frame with the option, but if you want to stand out in the crowd with some photo tricks, we can do just that. We can complete the circular frame and add some text up top. We'll be updating Momo's profile pic from one of my favorite shows. Let's get started now in Adobe Photoshop. Create a new project of size 400 by 400, which is the LinkedIn profile picture size. The site will also crop your image into a circle and display that on the site. Make the background transparent so we can save the frame for additional photos. First, make a circle shape with the ellipse shape tool. Make sure it's set to shape up top left. Hold shift while dragging to create a perfect circle. Make it a bit bigger than your project size so you can perfectly resize it down and have it fit in the square. Then, set shape fill type to none and the stroke to the color of your preference. The LinkedIn green color code frame is hashtag 385F25 for the stroke and set it to size 62. Convert it to a smart object if you want. Then with ellipse layer selected, use ellipse tool again but set it to path. Create a circle again, then resize it and try to get it in the middle of your ellipse stroke. Wait for it to snap into place. Then use the type tool and type what you want along the curve. You should see the cursor change. Then change the font to whatever you want. Maybe Comic Sans and you have job offers left and right. Next, we have to get rid of some of the green to match the style of the frame. With the ellipse shape tool selected, create a layer mask. Grab the brush tool and make sure black is foreground color and adjust your brush to the appropriate size and use a brush that isn't hard. Then insert your image and place it underneath the ellipse layer. And we are basically done. Turn off the image and then export it to save as a frame to place over any additional photos you might use in the future. If you found this video helpful, clever, funny, neat, I would be grateful if you could kindly subscribe and hit that like button. It truly means a lot and helps the channel grow a lot. I will be uploading more tutorials, reviews, unboxings, and tech stuff. I might have an iPhone 12 Pro video coming soon. Let me know what I should break down next in Photoshop and if you need more help, let me know where I can. Stay safe, catch you in the next video.